Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Just about eight miles of tobacco road and two different shades of blue separate Duke and North Carolina. The Blue Devils and the Tar Heels are on the field and getting set to square off in the battle for the victory bell. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. North Carolina has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Lee from the seven. He's out to the 30. What a collision! Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He fires this one. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. There's a fumble. And the defense is on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Strike to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 40. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle, and they make the stop at the 42. North Carolina's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. the 47 yard line second down fires quick he's got another one tackle made at the 37 you can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers 
even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. sure what happens first, and goal. first down chance for three or seven here first and goal inside the five and they hit him in the backfield pretty good defense there on the option they'll stop him for a loss of one second and goal and this is the tenth play of the drive Quick throw, and down he goes at the four. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes his third and goal. I don't even know why this team showed up. Brought down right around the two yard line. Two yard gain on the quarterback keeper. That brings up fourth and goal. This isn't much more than an extra point. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. And for South Carolina, a victory would lift them to the magical 10-win mark. Dixon is a dangerous trigger man in this passing offense, and he already has a touchdown pass. South Carolina on top, 10-7. All right, Reese, back to our game. Miller ready to kick. Williams from the six, looking for the corner. Brought down at the 50-yard line. North Carolina is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Now he's scrambling. Slings it. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right around the 20. That's good for a gain of yards. That brings up second and one. They'll bring him down at the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he's level at the three. Gain of two on the play. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Blue Devils. That is great 
tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Nice play to take the three-point lead here early in the first quarter. The question now is if they can build off this momentum later in the game. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 50-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. Yeah, I, I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. From their own 21-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete, and he is drilled at the 27. And he tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Duke leads 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Duke is up by four. He makes his way out to about the 35. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 26. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Fires quickly to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Look at the power. He makes his way out to about the 12. Game 13. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Next to the seven. Check 15, check 15. Tackled after a decent pickup. Game 7 yards. That'll bring up second and three. Tax on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Clemson and South Carolina in the battle for control of the Palmetto State. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for South Carolina, a win today would lift them to the 10 win mark. Holt's snack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Gamecocks have the edge 17 7 early in the second quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you.
The Blue Devils we saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Carter looks ready to kick this one off. Washington fields it at the two, makes it to the 22-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires it out. He's brought down in the open field. And for Washington, he's wrapped up more receiving yardage than anybody who's ever suited up for this team. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent. And every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he could do something big. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gets to about the 41 yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. I got number 18. I got you, 18. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That makes it so necessary. And he's immediately tackled. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. He makes his way out to about the six. A gain of eight and a nice decision by the quarterback to give it up on the option. The Tar Heels are going to call their second timeout. This is the 11th play of this drive. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. North Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line.
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Duke holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 40. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. The Blue Devils taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker. And that had big play written all over it. Carter is the punter. They'll bring him down at the 34. North Carolina's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to get a quick points out. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. to his back and it's in and out of his hands from the 42 yard line second down under heavy pressure this quarterback is tough as nails Brad he's gonna sit in that pocket and give himself a chance the only problem is at some point you've got to have a feel Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He launches one for the end zone. Missed him. Well, we've played a half of football. Duke's up by four. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to hit something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll take it from the two. And he's tackled at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The 
defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Slings it out there incomplete. Wants to throw outside. Brought down at the 21 yard line. just no daylight on that play and the defensive lineman was the reason well that's one way to get involved in the game great stop in the backfield second and 13 ball on the 25 there's a strike complete he's down receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nice six-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Miller is lined up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. White again, and they get nice yardage on that run. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. A nice run up the middle. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make it second and four. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. They'll bring him down at the 45. Taken down at the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. 57 to right, Mark 57. Switch, switch, switch. He's taken down around the 40 yard line. That makes it 7 8. 
from the 40-yard line. It's second down. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. And the defense picks it up. Big opening. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Blue Devils running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Checking out the action in Cincinnati. And for Cincinnati, today's victory gives them their ninth win of the season. The Bearcats take it by five in another game. A real battle going down in Boise. The Golden Bears unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. California leads it 21-14. Reese, we got a 10-point game, 24-14 here. They line up to kick this one away. Lee from the 8 gets to about the 27-yard line. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. With the pass incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Makes it second and ten. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. First down. scrambling now he's gonna run and watch out and he dives forward first down grab by the receiver got it to the senior that makes it first and ten Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. We'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Tackle at about the 11. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? Gets to about the 11-yard line. And he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds right around the two yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it so cool. 
The Blue Devils had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. So at the end of three, North Carolina leads it 24-14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. strike to the back no good it's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with but when you're behind sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game the offense just wasn't able to make a play the defense was really clutch right there both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop he makes it out to maybe the seven yard line that makes it second and eight Steps out of bounds at the 10. receiver there's a very impressive open field tackle this guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous no wonder he's looked to on third down he has some room makes it out to about the 29 out to about the 32-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll make it 35. Release tight end incomplete. McKinsey was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Downing awaits the snap. Lee fields it at the 27. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. First down. He's on the run. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. First down. Brought down at the 13. That makes it first and 10. He scrambles, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And down he goes at the three-yard line. 
That brings in second and nine. They'll bring him down around the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Throws middle. Here's the tight end. Touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Nicholas to play today, not what we were expecting, but Herbie, like back in the day at Ohio State, you had to put the ball up sometimes. Well, you have to. I think any great offense has an ability to show versatility, and right now this team is completely taking away their star, their running back. So, yeah, the quarterback in the passing game have had to step up. Just under two minutes in the game. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. From the 41-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Duke will take their second time out of the half. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Dukes called their final timeout. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. The spike will stop the clock. Third down and very long here, and the defensive line can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Just over a minute left. He sails it long. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. He takes a knee. From the 26-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. A 
A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 24-21, North Carolina. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.